Wildlife Diaries gives the viewers a glimpse of the various patients the Wildlife Center of Silicon Valley works with on a regular basis. All staff and volunteers have undergone training to work with various animals. Please do not try to care for an injured wild animal yourself. Take it to your nearest wildlife rehabilitator. Wildlife Diaries, Episode 7, Time for a Bath. Fleas can lay more than 5,000 eggs over their life. Hence, it is important to stop this population explosion. Over here, wildlife technician Kira Gunderson combs a baby opossum's fur. The flea eggs are collected by the comb's teeth and dipped in a bowl with hot and soapy water. This not only provides comfort to the opossum from intensive itching, but also prevents it from becoming anemic. a fledgling dark-eyed junco. It's kind of not too happy right now, but you can tell he's a junco because the outer part of his tail is white. Can you really see? Like, there's white right there. Sometimes, when a bird refuses to eat on its own and still does not open its mouth when presented with food, the staff have to gently force it open and feed the bird. This is crucial because birds can starve to death in 48 to 72 hours when healthy and can go even faster when ill. This might look like an upcoming episode of Breaking Bad, but it's not. Although the staff are doing something even more exciting. The center received a red-tailed hawk which was covered in sludge. This can inhibit the hawk from flying and hugely affect its survival chances. The staff gently clean its body using a mild detergent to remove stubborn layers of the sludge. This is followed by a bath in warm, soapy water to remove any excessive oils from its feathers and other body parts. Look how black the water is. A gopher snake was brought to the center with lacerations on its body. Dr. Chad Alves and hospital manager Ashley Kinney sedate the snake first, then start suturing the wounds. The snake can be seen regaining consciousness after the successful operation. He is starting to wake up. Okay, good. That's our sign. That's our sign. <laughs> Over here, the staff and a group of volunteers are going to release a cedar waxwing, which was brought to the center some days back after it flew into a window. <gasps> okay, cedar waxwing. Be free and live a great life. Wait, now. What's going on? I know, you're free. Look. Go on. Go be free. Go on. Go on. Visit us at WCSV.org to see how you can help us in protecting our wildlife. Donate to our cause, volunteer at our center, or simply share the word.